What would happen if Titanoboas were not extinct? Titanoboas lived 58 to 60 million years ago and were one of the most terrifying creatures ever to roam the earth. These snakes could grow up to 48 feet long and weigh 2,500 pounds. This video will focus on what would happen if these creatures were alive today. Before we get started, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we publish more videos like this one. Titanoboa probably spent much of their time in water. The sedimentary structure of rocks in the region where the fossils were found has evidence of flooding, as are the preserved fossils of water-loving organisms, such as mangrove plants, crocodilians, turtles, and fish. Similarly, modern anacondas spend most of their time in or near the water, where they hide amid vegetation in the shallows and ambush their prey. Titanoboa likely had similar habits because the animal's large size would have made living on land awkward or impossible. Colossal Snake Scientists discovered the remains of a giant snake buried underground for 65 million years. It was the biggest snake the world had ever seen. Titanoboa is the name given to it by scientists and named after the Titanic, which means giant, and the boa, a family of snakes. Paleontologists initially believed the giant bones found in the South American mine belonged to ancient crocodiles. Then, they learned the bones belonged to a giant snake. Where would they live? If Titanoboas still existed, the world would be very different. If they were still alive today, these serpents would pose a serious threat to all life on the planet, particularly life near the equator. The most likely scenario is that they would live in warm climates near the equator, which could be difficult for those living nearby. It is likely that this enormous creature would be mainly found in the Amazon jungle, Colombia, and Brazil, the birthplace of many ancient civilizations, such as the Aztecs. If the Titanoboa had existed along with ancient human civilizations, this could have wiped out civilizations such as the Incas and others. Possibly regarded as gods? Another possibility is that if the Titanoboa existed during ancient times with humans, the ancient civilization may have assumed these enormous creatures to be some sort of god, which would have caused them to not only worship the snake but also to sacrifice to them. Eat what they can find. The Titanoboa could have wiped out many plants and animals because of their massive size. Its mouth was about three feet long when fully opened. This means that nothing could escape when it caught its prey. If they were alive today, these snakes would probably eat anything they could find, including giant turtles or large land mammals such as cows or horses. This could cause the food chain to collapse by wiping out several types of organisms which depend on each other. This also means that they would need a lot of prey to support their population. These creatures would have devoured almost everything in the Amazon if they still existed today. If their population went out of control, it could wipe out the entire Amazon rainforest. If they lived alongside ancient civilizations, their communities would need to build their homes in the trees of the rainforest, according to some sources. It is said that the rainforest trees are larger than the Titanoboa. This would make it hard for the Titanoboa to reach the people who lived high up in one of the Amazon trees. Mating Titanoboas had mating seasons, just like many other modern reptiles. Titanoboa males and females avoided each other before mating season. The males then fought for the female. Those who won fertilized the eggs. Immediately after fertilization, the females attacked the males and sometimes ate them. They would then go into a resting period, which is also known as the gestation period. The baby Titanoboa slid out of a thin membrane on the side of the mother's body after about seven months of gestation. How they looked. Most of the fossils found in a coal mine were adults, but there were also fossils of their young. They found vertebrae and ribs among the fossils. Unfortunately, only one fossil with a skull has come to light. It turns out that this monster snake had significantly thick skin. This cold-blooded snake also had excellent night vision. Titanoboa were black in color, with a dull brownish-grayish hue. It lacked feet like other snakes. How they behaved. Due to their colossal size, the Titanoboa would have spent time on land near the rainforest floor. The snake's large size would have made it difficult for it to climb trees. Most of the Titanoboa's time, however, was spent in the water. While in water, buoyancy assisted the snake's weight, making it more dangerous. How would we interact with the Titanoboa today? They would certainly be valuable. Given our nature, we would probably hunt them as a possession. There are many industries that could benefit from hunting them. Titanoboas would be hard to hunt, however. Because of this, their meat would be a delicacy, making it expensive. Trophy hunters would also poach them due to their skin being high in value. Cold-Blooded Animals 
Snakes are ectothermic animals. This means the temperature of their blood depends on the temperature of their surroundings. Titanoboa could have only survived in a hotter climate than what exists today. Based on the snake's size, experts estimate the average climate temperature when the Titanoboa would have been alive would have been between 84 and 89.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Today's rainforests are 5 to 8 degrees warmer. Despite the rise of global temperatures, giant snakes are unlikely to return. Climate change is causing temperatures to rise so rapidly that wildlife cannot adjust. Huge animals would not have the time to develop. How Titanoboas Kill Titanoboa and other boa constrictors lack venom glands. Therefore, they are not venomous. Instead, they kill their prey by squeezing their victims. The boa constricts or tightens whenever their prey breathes out. Squeezing stops the prey's blood from flowing, causing its heart to stop. How would hunters capture a titanoboa? Hunting these animals would require a trek through swamps and rainforests. Tranquilizers would fail to work effectively because of their colossal size. Capturing them would be very difficult, however, traps could be set using crocodiles as bait. Nature Documentaries Film crews would risk their lives to capture incredible footage of these enormous snakes for documentaries. Titanoboa are unlikely to be contained in zoos because they are enormous and may escape. Titanoboa could take down large windows and buildings if it escaped from a zoo and entered a major city. As a result, homes and businesses would have to remain boarded until the Titanoboa is captured. Removing the Titanoboa Regular pest control crews could not remove the animal. More than likely, the military would step in to assist. Some scientists believe the only way Titanoboa would harm us is if we tried harming it. Titanoboa would normally only eat crocodiles and fish. However, if threatened, they would likely eat us. Humans adapting Humans would eventually have to adapt to living with gigantic snakes as they are roaming the world among us. Titanoboa would be feared in a similar way we fear sharks. The only problem is that Titanoboa would live on the land with us. Titanoboa could still become extinct if they existed today, if the world suddenly dropped in temperature. Recap In summary, scientists do not know when and why Titanoboa went extinct, but the fossils we have provided insight into the environment they inhabited. Titanoboa found shelter on river bottoms away from scavengers and the elements. Swampy waters also produce excellent fossils, not to mention coal, which still powers our world today. The largest open pit coal mine globally, Sarahan, contains Titanoboa fossils. By flooding the area, sediments buried in plant remains are brought into the water and turned into coal. Thus, they do not decay as quickly. These layers have turned into different types of rocks over time. Some Titanoboa fossils have been discovered in clay-based rocks. Miners, however, are more interested in pure plant-derived coal. Therefore, so often at odds, science and industry can finally appreciate the Colombian coal deposit. However, our dependency on burning fossil fuels will heat our planet to desirable conditions, returning the next Titanoboa in South America. That's all for this video. Let us know what you thought of the Titanoboa in the comment sections below. Did you know about this gigantic snake before watching our video? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. See you next time.